As much as we enjoyed the island of Anacapa, it was time to board the boat for our next destination, the island of Santa Cruz. During this leg of our journey, the skies turned misty and gray, but it was this part of the journey where we saw our first humpback whales. As a whale dives, the thrust of their tails leave flat circular rings called footprints. With each and every dive, we were awestruck with the graceful movements of these mammoth creatures. They were poetry in motion. As we watched the last tail disappear beneath the surface, we received a lucky bonus when one of the whales reappeared to perform a breach. No one knows why whales perform this spectacular behavior. It may be part of a courtship display, an effort to dislodge parasites, or just for fun. As we approached Santa Cruz Island, the mist began to clear to reveal the largest and most diverse of the islands within the park. The protection and preservation of Santa Cruz Island is divided between the Nature Conservancy and the National Park Service. With many introduced and cultivated species, efforts are currently underway to restore the island to its original pristine ecological balance. As our boat neared shore, we anxiously awaited the opportunity to see what we'd discover on this island that is known for having the greatest number of plant and animal species of all of the Channel Islands. After leaving the boat, we set out on a hike to take in this unique island habitat. It was easy to see how the varied topography of this environment would support a remarkable array of flora and fauna. Santa Cruz Island is the largest of California's Channel Islands. It is the most biologically diverse and home to 12 species of plants and animals that are found only on Santa Cruz Island and nowhere else in the world. Of these unique 12 species, some are teetering on the brink of extinction. And through efforts by the Nature Conservancy and the National Park Service, we are seeing great success in being able to bring back some of these species from extinction. Bald eagles, which historically were populous throughout the Channel Islands and disappeared due to widespread contamination of DDT in the marine environment, are now once again nesting successfully on Santa Cruz Island, a first in almost half a century. Santa Cruz is an island of great scenic beauty, offering a wide diversity of landforms, plants, and animals, including this endemic island scrub jay found nowhere else in the world. Although we didn't get a chance to see one, the island is also home to a special animal known as the island fox. Island foxes are one of the most unique canid species in the world. They only live on the Channel Islands. They're one of the smallest species as well. They only get to as, as large as four or five pounds which is no larger than a small house cat. And the reason that they are that small is this phenomenon of dwarfism, which you find on islands. If you're a species on an island, there's generally no reason to be large because you have a limited food supply, because you have a limited amount of land. Therefore, a lot of species which get to an island actually evolve to a smaller size. And that's the case for the island fox. It's only a third as large as its mainland ancestor, which is the mainland gray fox. A last look at the vistas before heading back to the shoreline showed a view past the wide central valley of rugged mountain ranges with the highest peaks on the island. Pine, oak, and ironwood trees dotted the hillsides. Heading back towards the craggy coastline, we knew we could have stayed much longer, but there was still much more to explore.